preseason has gone fantastic. Our, um, our, my assistant coach, Eric Hammond, has had a fall season with our eight beach-only players. So they were really geared up uh, for our season. And then when we added our dual sport players in them, we've been out actually since February 2nd on the sand. So we've really got a lot of work done. We've got our, we have our pairs uh, together and then we have a big round robin tournament with our eight pairs to determine who our one through eight seeds are. And this is why we do the tournament to determine those seeds because places third through sixth were tied. <laughs> And uh, so we had to use point differential just to determine what, what our seed's going to be for this weekend when we go to the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. As an athlete, wouldn't you want to control your own destiny instead of the coach saying you're not good or you're better than this person so you're going to get to be in this particular pair. Uh, so that part is a little rough on the players, but it is our culture and what we do. And there is no better way to determine that by than have the, have the players play for it. And the simulation of a real match, I think the kids are probably a little bit more nervous for these matches than they would be for a regular match during the season. It's funny because when, when you have these tournaments, you kind of see who's going to really step up. It's pretty easy to tell who your top players are uh, going in and what you think is going to happen. But those, th those, those middle pairs, it's always such, uh, such great competition. And I think that strength of our team in the past has been our top pairs. Uh, and we weren't as strong at the bottom, but I think we're going to be pretty darn strong at the bottom. I can't tell you how excited they, our players are when they play at home. Our sports information department is one of the few that string. Not just Division Three, any. So for our parents, and we have a lot of players from far away, to be able to see their kids play, and it won't be Facebook Live. <laughs> our goal this year is to win that D3 National Championship. In order to do that, we've got to play some pretty tough competition. Uh, when we go to Florida, we play nothing but D2. Um, this weekend, we're going to play D1 and a D2. When we go to Little Rock, we are playing the D3, the, you know, a bunch of D3s and a D2. So we'll get to kind of see what some of these need, new D3s are like. They're both pretty good indoor teams, so the crossover players are probably going to be very athletic. Of course, uh, gearing up with our home uh, tournament, leading to the national championship uh, in the middle of April. So basically the season's preparing us for this. We're gonna have our full complement of matches. I'm very excited. I think the players, and I know myself, I'm happy to see them play someone else besides themselves. <laughs> because they know each other pretty well, so they have a good idea how to beat each other. <laughs> and so it'd be nice to play somebody they have no idea and doesn't know their, weak, their strengths and weaknesses. <laughs>